St. John's is an extremely special place. There's no question about that. This place means a lot to us. Once we came here, it really felt like a family. Here, just in the past two years, we've made what feels like like lifelong friends. The sense of community is very strong and we've been very blessed to be able to be a part of it. Well, there's this incredible history of 170 years of St. John the Baptist. This is a place where I've noticed that there's a there's a longevity to, to the way people relate to this place. So many uh, nice people that are actually part of the congregation as well. Just very friendly and welcoming people. Uh, it's easy to become part of a member of a group, whether it's the Knights of Columbus or whatever group it might be. What really started my conversion was when Meg invited me to a Mass when we were in high school, senior year, and I was just really struck by just how respectful people were of the Mass, and so it was then wanting to, to know more about that. Somebody else built all of this when we came here, and so we were blessed with all of this. But now we have the opportunity to provide that to the next generation. I want people to be able to, to walk into this place and say, this is a place set apart uh, that is for God and for me to experience His love, and, to, and, and it's for everyone. But it's important if we don't invest and take care of the assets we have, it's gonna cost us more money in the long run versus investing now. There's always a need for the gospel. There's always a, a need to be able to invite people with the same gospel, but in a new way. And that's what excites me about uh, St. John's is really positioned to do that. It's enhancements to the community that will really allow and support people to become closer to Christ. I mean, really at the end of the day, that's what it's about. The school community at St. John's is faithful and joyful. As we assessed our school facilities, we felt there are a number of ways that we could improve the safety and security of our students and all of the people who use our school facility. The opportunity that is being presented is to relocate the school office so it is easily accessible to visitors, to guests, to parents have the need by entering into the building and then having the school outer office present. A safe and, and welcoming school is just a, it's a great way to, to get people in. Like I was able to see pictures of the school and what the new entrance is gonna look like and just the safety of that and the peace of mind. I know being a new to the, to the parish and the school, when I walked through there the first time, a couple of times, I was so confused at like where to go and how to get in and what door. You know, people need to be able to come here and they need to be able to feel safe. They need to be able to trust that when they drop their children off, their children are safe. They need to trust and know that they can come into this church and fully worship and be a part of things and not have to worry about safety. It's, it's an investment. Um, They've invested so much in us as, as people in our spiritual life and, and in the school. It's time to give back and, and talk to the people about how it's, how it's given back to us. I believe strongly that the enhancements to the worship space, specifically the sanctuary, um, will be tremendous for our children. Kind of the way that we think about it is like, if you invited someone really important over to your house, you invited the president over to your house, you'd make sure that your house is, you know, you paint the outside of the house and you clean up the mess and you make it as beautiful as possible. The lighting uh, has always been a concern to many people and so we'll have much better lighting within the church, we'll have some security improvements. You think back to the beginning of this parish and all of the generations of parishioners who have built the community and the facilities, uh, built the programs, um, I think Preparing the Way is our opportunity to continue that stewardship of our community and our facilities. Everything we do here, uh, every ministry, even the capital campaign, can all lead towards uh, making everybody be friends of the Lord. And we want to be that hope for the next generation. We want to continue to build this community. I want that history to be preserved and and taught and, and realized it, that it means something. I firmly believe that school enrollment's gonna go up, uh, that uh, mass attendance is gonna go up, 
and uh, the, the weekly contributions are going to go up just because people are excited to be here. What's more worthwhile investing in than the place where we encounter God on a regular basis and where our children are going to encounter God. With that attitude, with that readiness of St. Peter, he says, yeah, Lord, we've, we've toiled, toiled all night and caught nothing, but at your word, I will lower the nets again. And this, this campaign is a moment where we say that, where we say, Lord, we're going to keep lowering the nets.